Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Terraria Spirit Mod. So ladies and gentlemen, last episode we have still been playing Terraria, like we do every other three days. And we've been exploring the jungle, so we didn't know oh, why is this game lagging. We've been exploring the jungle, we've been checking out what the jungle has to offer. We also found a boomstick along the way, which was pretty cool. And today I want to go and focus on just basically fighting Scarabius because I do indeed think that we are indeed now strong enough to go and take down our first boss. Because like we've got the boomstick with a lot of ammunition, we've got a lot of other weapons, we have quite a lot of armor, so yeah, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to take on Scarabius, so we're going to be doing that today, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. So here we are, we have loaded in, quickly changed into our other helmet, so we have in total, uh, yeah, 15 defense, uh, that's a bit less than I thought, but still, pretty good. Right, that's, yeah, something good enough, and that should, yeah, that should be good enough along, along with our weapons, that should be enough to go and take down Scarabius, also known as the Sun's Insect. Cool. Yes, Scarabius. Alright, cool. So yeah, we're gonna be deal deal do dealing with that today, hopefully, and then, you know, all the other bosses to come. I think, we're, I think what we're going to do is fight Scarabius, fight King Slime, and then fight the Eye of Cthulhu. And then, I guess, after the uh, Eye of Cthulhu will be dead, then we'd go try to get some really better armor and better weapons, and then we'll go into the Eater of Worlds and Vinerath Bane, and all those, all those good looks. Huh, alright. Interesting. Oh, the Reach. I just realized that that big, weird, spooky biome. Not spooky, but the weird green biome. It's called Reach. It's called the Reach. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, so uh, we got to basically fight Scarabius today. Obviously, we got to go and first of all build a big arena in the desert. So, we teleport ourselves to the desert and just build a huge, ginormous arena. And you're basically, and just, yeah, build an arena and fight Scarabius. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I want to do today. And then, yeah, we're going to go and deal with all the other bosses in the episodes to come. And probably we'll get a better armor, that good stuff. Whatever. And slowly, I guess, remove those. I guess we have the bosses. There is quite a lot of bosses, I must say. God, there is a lot of bosses. Whatever, Scribe said it's gonna be first. So, first of all, let's get our favorite. Um, we disable those dudes. No, yeah, that. Nah, boom, boom. But yeah, get our favorite little uh, platforms. They're obviously, the yellow team platforms. Uh, uh, yellow, no. Oh, I cannot speak. Yellow team. There we are. Yellow team platform. Beautiful. Get those, clip ourselves back over here. Ah, oh, why do I have a hook? I hooked onto a, whatchamacallit? A, um, yeah, oh, I hooked onto a, okay, stop, 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 stop. I accidentally hooked onto one of those train tracks, which is interesting. Whatever, and as I was saying, yeah, we're gonna build this. So, but for everyone, let's just go and build an arena, shall we? Because arenas are crucial, if you wanna go and, you know, just basically five bosses, you need an arena. So this arena is gonna be probably just a standard arena, you know, standard one that I normally build. Just you know, just join this an arena. So yeah, let's do that. Good. This is gonna be you know, probably not best you know size proportionate. We got what I mean. The size proportion probably won't be the best, but well, it's still somewhat of a good arena. So yeah, whatever. Let's just do this. Make this arena. Where the hell's my mini map there? Let's easy mod a bit. Good. Does this reveal itself? Okay, does this good. Yeah, let's just build this arena and yeah, then deal with our first boss. That should be pretty fun. I right, build it up to here. That should be good enough. And go all the way down here. Yeah, good. 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 Yeah, that should be good enough. That we can obviously. Mm, that should be actually technically good enough. Now, right? Shouldn't it? You can also go make that go up here. Good. And then smack one platform in the middle. Good, go and right across. Good, and then destroy you, pick you up. Good. Yeah, not so much good. We can go down here, but generally this is gonna be the base of the of the arena platform. Good. Now let's just make this quite tall, and I mean like very very tall. Probably the source, you probably can get it. And yeah, then let's, let's just yeah, let's just build a huge arena, just like we had a arena in Enigma's mod. In Enig yeah, in the Enigma mod, we had a pretty big arena there. I also wanna have a pretty big arena here too. Oh my god, building platforms is the hardest thing to do in this goddamn game. There we are. But is that high enough? That's definitely high enough. Also very rectangular, but whatever. Yeah, let's just do this. I'm gonna take a bit of time to fill all this in with all these platforms, but I must say it probably is gonna be worth it. Also, definitely gonna be worth it. It's gonna help us take down a lot of bosses. Yeah, let's just do this, shall we? It's becoming night time, slowly but surely, so that's not too good. Right, oh, I hate building platforms, I really do. Like, it's so hard to build a platform in this game, like, you would not believe it. Well, I guess you probably will believe it if you play the game yourself. Oh my god! That's so annoying. Where the hell is the platform? Very good. You build that across and build that up. Good, yeah, good. Go slower, good, a bit up, and then voila, we have joined it up. Good. 
Now we have a big, huge box, technically. But, yeah, in case of platforms, so I don't want a box, I want a arena. So, yeah. Let's turn this thing into an arena, and then use it as an arena. Take down our first boss and be all a happy. Good. Build you across here. And then build you up here. Good. Yeah, that looks pretty good so far, I must say. So far, it looks like a standard arena. It's giving me a huge deja vu from, you know, uh, Enigma. Uh, yeah, Enigma's mod. Enigma's end. Just basically the Enigma mod. That's pretty interesting. Alright, that's a pretty big gap, must say. You have some pretty huge gaps in these. Um, what shall I call it? Oh, my. In my videos, but yeah, we have a pretty big gap in between these layers of the platform, which is interesting. But we should connect, right? Yeah, that should make it better. Give me a second. Right, plug that in. Good, there we go. Alright, just carry on building these. Good. This is, as I said, gonna take a bit of a bit of a while, but whatever. It's gotta be done. It is crucial, essential, beneficial to our survival and you know defeat of a minor, uh, defeat of many other bosses. So we need to do it in our words. Right, give me that. Yeah, but they, I definitely need to find. I can't speak today. I definitely need to find like better weapons and armor and that stuff. But I don't know like where the hell I'm supposed to get it from. Like I've played Terraria so many times, but I that, but I still managed to forget how the hell we get the simplest of things. Like you know, starter armor, some somewhat good armor. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead, of, go ahead of it and just fight the bosses. See how far we can get. Good, connect that. Beautiful. All right, that's yeah, that's good enough. Looks good, I guess. We're gonna make it daytime because it's becoming nighttime and it's night time. We couldn't see a thing, which is highly annoying. So, yeah. Find you up. Yeah, give, give me that back. Okay, we are nowhere close to being done. Jesus Christ, it's gonna take so goddamn long. Ah, Jesus. Alright, build you across. Good. Good, 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 good. And then build you across. We're gonna go and smack on in the middle of these two, but what can you do? Alright. Good, beautiful, not a bit too far, good, and then one right here, we will have, yeah, we will not have enough platforms, but I guess what we're gonna do, we're gonna give me an arrow stack, good, smack that in there, good, and then smack you down here, no, stop, good, no, and come over here, beautiful, good, and uh, how far are we, we're, not even halfway, but we're getting there, we're getting there, we are definitely getting there, Smack you across above our little head down here. Good. And then one up right here. Not one up, but just another one up. That. Good. And build. This is definitely not close enough, but whatever. We're also gonna. Well, actually, that's too close. That's what I was gonna say. We also, we're also going to need to go and put a lot of campfires around the place just so we can get healed a bit easier and just so it's not too total. And just so it's not dark. Because if it's dark, it's not good. So, yeah. Good. Smack you across. One in the middle. Nah. And you up here. Good. We're nearly there. I repeat, we are nearly there. Let's knock you over here. And then you over here. Good. <clears throat> and let's deal with this. Good to scrub, yes. Let's talk about him for a minute. Uh, I've never fought him before. I have no idea how he looks like. No idea how much health he has. No idea about any of his attacks. I just don't know anything about him. I literally just don't know anything about Scrabius. Which is interesting. It's going to be a bit of a learning experience for us. Since, as I said, I don't know anything about him, so... Yeah, we have to go and first of all find out everything about him. About how he looks like, find out what he does, find out how much damage he does, and just generally hopefully defeat him. If we want to defeat him, then that's gonna mean that, well, he's very strong and we're very bad at the game. And it's also gonna mean that we're gonna have to go back into the mines and look for some even better armor. But I doubt that's gonna be the case. Lead armor is not the best, but it is somewhat good. So, should get us to, you know, should be able to help us defeat Scrabius. So Scrabius should defeat, no problem. King Slime isn't that bad, we should be able to defeat him, no problem. I have Cthulhu might be a bit of a problem, but yet again, not the worst. We could manage with that. Then after that, we have the Eater of Worlds, not mistaken. Yep, the Eater of Worlds. He's gonna be a bit more difficult, but after we take down the Eater of Worlds, we're gonna be able to make the Nightshade armor, which is very good because it's gonna just basically give. I don't know if it's called Nightshade, but it's just yeah, I don't know what it's called, but it's gonna be some pretty powerful armor. Well, at least powerful for our stage of the game. So it should be should be able to help us out. So. I think we're gonna have to stick with the armor and weapons that we got all the way up until the Eater of Worlds. And when we defeat the Eater of Worlds, then we're gonna be able to go and get some better weapons and that stuff. So we can make some better armor and that and be prepared to fight Divine Rough Bane and Queen Bee and all, the, and all those blokes. But for that, but to find out about that, but to, you know, make sure, I guess, find out about that, we're gonna have to go and wait and see, obviously. Because fighting, you know, uh, the Eater of Worlds is currently not on my to do list. Currently, we have obviously Scrabius, not the Eater of Worlds, so yeah. 
you were gonna come for him later on. For now, let's finish this arena. God damn it, not on platforms again. Yeah, let's just finish up this arena. Good. Yeah. Yeah, come on, we're nearly there. Beautiful. Voila! It is done. Jump that. And yeah, put that there. And yeah, turn that off. Turn that on. Turn that back on again. Beautiful. Make it. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. There we are. We also need campfires. What campfires are we going to take? Well, we had yellow ones last time, so now I'm gonna go and get rainbow ones. Because why not have a bunch of rainbow campfires, eh? Yeah, let's make a bunch of rainbow campfires around the place. I dumped those cactus. Actually, now I'll keep the cactuses. Give me a second. I've got to tell ourselves back home to put the cactuses away. Good. Yeah, quickly go over here. Now, oh, Jesus. Uh, for a cactus is probably going to be, no, it's going to be like uh, herbs and that stuff, isn't it? Yeah, herbs and flowers. Good, I'm going to put the cactus in here. Cacti, even. Good. That's good enough. Tell ourselves back now. Beautiful. That's a pretty big gap over here. It's quite a significant on the map. Although, uh, it doesn't really matter. Whatever. Yeah, let's go and, yeah. Smack some campfires around the place because it is quite dark, so yeah. Smack that there and that there. They are rainbow, as you can clearly really see, so it's going to be a bit of a colorful arena we're going to have, but whatever. Yeah, smack a lot of the campfires around here. Yeah, just, yeah, just trying to just smack campfires around. Good, yeah, good. And then boom, 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 boom. Yeah, then boom, 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 boom. Yeah, good, that's good enough. Boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna remove the extra ones later. Boom, 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 boom. No, I can't place campfires. There we go. Boom. And boom, 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 boom. And then boom, 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 boom. Yeah, before there's a whole row of campfires over there. Good. That should be bright enough. Oh, Jesus. it's way too many campfires. Mm. It is pretty colorful, pretty bright, I must say. If you've got a lot of campfires, eh, then you have a whole row over here. Whole row of campfires, and you can also smack a few over here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. No, I just missed. There we are, voila. Bunch of campfires up and around the place. So a huge row of campfires up here. Beautiful. Good, that's done. That's the campfires dealt with. Now we should be going ready to deal with Scarabius. And since this, uh, um, I suppose enabled. And since this is a, uh, you know, pretty lit up arena, we should be able to use it during the night. First of all, it's you make it night time so you can clearly see how it looks during the night. Okay, this looks very rainbow. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this looks very rainbow. Issues with these uh, campfires, they don't really provide too much light. They, they do make everything look rainbow, which is interesting. We're going to be literally battling on a disco arena, but they don't provide that much light. They provide more colorfulness rather than light. But whatever, at least we can see, so that's good enough. How oh, god, this looks very colorful. Hmm. Oh, I should have done purple ones, because purple would look more spooky, and it's supposed to be like a spooky, spirity mod. Whatever, we have rainbow ones, that's good enough. I like it. That's pretty spoopy. And let's make it day then, because I think it needs to be day to fight Scrabius, so yeah. Make it day. Brutally murder this little creature over here, commonly called a zombie. And then we can out move on with the, to the battle, can't we? Good, now you're dead, and I think we can fight him, right? Yeah, at any time, alright, so we can fight him at day and night. But I do want to fight Scrabius during the day, so I can see how he looks like. Yep, Scrabius is, as you can see here, first on the list. Quickly gonna go, and yeah... Toggle, just turn those on so you can see those. Yeah, Scarabius is first. He's even before the Blood Moon. He's just first, 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 first. Therefore, I'm going to be able to deal with him. I don't know what that means, but... Hydro completed. Oh, I get it. I just just hide them. But yeah, Scarabius, him. Yeah. Good, yeah. This paper is available. This, the mod has neither nor has neither not submitted a page or it is probably set up. Right, that's interesting. But whatever. Yeah, I'm defeated in Spurs, yeah, that's all we know. Scarabius, whatever. Let's just deal with this dude, shall we? Let's just deal with him. So I guess without further ado, let's summon Scarabius. Let's summon the Sun's Insect. First of all, though, because I do want to fight him during the day, we're going to stop all those guys. Then I'm going to go and quickly... Um, nope. I'm going to quickly make a night time, then force an enchanted sun drill, just so we're going to go and make it, uh, you know, daytime. It should be pretty good. The beginning of the day should be good enough. We have 280 health, which is quite a lot, so... I think I have enough health and all that good stuff. You can always go and look for more health. Later on, when we need to. But for now, I think we have enough. This arena, by the way, is way too big. Scrabius is definitely not going to take up this much space to, you know, fight him. But, you know, big arenas are good arenas. Alright, kill you guys off. Beautiful. Yeah, murder you. It's still pretty dark, so I do think I want to wait for it to become just a bit brighter. Yeah, but let's, first of all, kill you off. Just die! Oh my Jesus. Okay, you're dead. There's bubbles chasing me. Okay, you die. Die, 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 die. Good, I should build those guys dealt with. Good. In that case, I think we're ready to f to fight Scarabius. To use the Scarabizel and summon the Sun's Insect. 3, 2, 1. Let's really get close to the desert, actually. Ah, oh, kill you off, first of all. Okay, you know what? Generally, 
couldn't really care less. Good. And yeah, let's just do it. Scrabby, here we go. I forgot to summon him. Right, okay, he's up there. Okay, I thought he was gonna be a, you know, boss on the ground, but he's all the way up there. And he's literally throwing scarab beetles at me. Oh, great, or just simply scarabs. Okay, uh-huh, yeah, there he is. Okay, it's literally a beetle. Okay, great, just took some damage. Okay. If we don't move around too fast, I just realized, and he moves around very fast. Okay, this arena was probably not a good idea. Because it definitely gives him, okay. Definitely makes him a lot stronger. Yeah, look, look how high he jumps around. Okay, this arena was definitely not a good idea. Okay, you know, switch to the boomstick. Huh. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're dealing quite a bit of damage. Okay, we're dealing a lot of damage. That's pretty good. He just doesn't have that much health, so yeah. He's dealing quite a bit of damage to us, but not too much. And we do have quite a lot of health, so we should be fine. Yeah, we're dealing quite a lot of damage to him. I think the boomstick deals the most damage since it is uh, you know, a ranged weapon. Okay, whatever. I go over here now. Okay, avoid those. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's quite a lot of damage. He only has 2,250 health, so that's not that bad. Fought worse things. He does jump around a lot now, doesn't he? Oh, okay, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Let's see. Okay. Shoots him right there. Yeah, that deals a lot of damage. That deals a lot of damage. Come here, Scarabius. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now he's dealing the damage to us. Okay. Now we're going to jump down. Avoid that. Take a bit of damage. But I guess what can I do? And carry on hitting this bloke. We have quite a lot of bullets, so we're fine. And ammunition. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Look at those hits. He has below half health. That's pretty good. Okay, Scarabius. You're definitely not as scary looking and definitely not as powerful as a foe. But you are dealing quite a lot of damage to me, so that's not too good. All right. Come here. Come here, boy. Okay, why are you flying up so high? Like, Jesus, man. Come down. Go back to Earth. I'm going to die. I uh, use a normal. Yeah, that should be good enough. Right, come here. Come here, Journey. Come here. Okay, don't you just fly around a lot more in a second stage? That's for sure. Okay, yeah. I think it's safe to say that we can now panic. Uh -huh, Alright, good. Okay, is he gonna fly up? Yep, yeah, he's coming. Come here, boy. I've got a sense I can talk to my dog. Alright, where is he? There you are. Okay, shoot that at you. And completely miss. Okay, we didn't actually miss. Okay. Those beetles that he's throwing at me definitely are annoying. They're not dealing maybe that much damage, but definitely do annoy me, right? So, to this, this is, I guess, a bit more long ranged. The shotgun is more of a close range weapon, I would say. Okay, he just dropped some health, which is interesting, but whatever. Okay, no, 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 that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, we are on 40 health. We can heal in 20 seconds, but I think he's dead. I think we got him. I think we got him. Then, gentlemen, we don't got him. God damn it, he had 5 health. No, no way. He got 5 health. He had five health. Oh my god, that's so annoying. That's generally so annoying. We nearly got him. We nearly got him, but he didn't. Oh, that's so annoying. That really does annoy me. Oh, whatever. At least we dealt the, did deal some damage. It's pretty good. Could you feel our ammunition? I just realized that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I really, I could have bought a boat. Uh, this stuff rather than just cheat to get it, but whatever. I think. How do you spell arrow? Oh, arrows? Two arrows. Oh, yeah, it is, of course. I'm um, some dumb. Whatever, well, let's quickly get ourselves there. Just uh, that's way too many arrows. Let's get like 100 arrows. That should be good enough. Good, yeah, 100 arrows. Good. Like those that are good. We're top top. Let's yeah, start at the game. That went pretty good. We didn't mar nearly manage to kill him. But we didn't kill him. He was just a bit too strong. But we nearly did him. He literally was left to 5 health. So now that we know what we're getting ourselves into, this should be easy. First of all, we'll just jump around here so we can uncover yeah, the sky above around yeah, Just, yeah, uncover that a bit. Oh, yeah, of course, go do that. Yeah, uh huh. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, good. Beautiful. That's that. Good, good. That's that. Now, alright. So, as I was saying, that didn't go that bad. We managed to deal quite a lot of damage to him, but he did actually end up killing us. But now that we know what we're doing, what we're getting ourselves into, this shouldn't be that bad. Let's do this. Round number two. Where is he? There he is. Right down there again. Oh, God. How annoying is that? There you are. Okay. And yeah, now we know what we're doing. Now we know what we need to use. We got it. This should be easy. Yeah, because now we know what he's going to do. We were prepared for it. We're prepared now. Come on, you goddamn scarab beetle. It's literally just a big, huge beetle that I'm fighting. I never thought I'd fight a beetle in Terraria, but... Well, what can you do? We did deal a bit of damage to us, but it's only a bit. Okay, no, okay, I stopped moving for some odd reason. I'm gonna take a bit of damage, but not too much, okay. Yeah, I think he spawns the scar beetles with stop when he starts jumping around like a madman, so yeah. Okay, we did take a lot of damage right there, but we also did deal quite a lot of, him, quite a lot of damage to him. So yeah, he is getting quite weak. The scar beetles kind of jump up, so when they go down, they want to bother us again, which is pretty good. But they're still around, which is pretty annoying, I guess. But no, that, it's not all that bad. There's little particles that he shoots out, definitely do get on my nerves, but they don't really aren't that much of a hindrance, to be honest, though. So. We're gonna jump over him right there, then we're gonna jump right here. Okay, nearly died. Okay, great. No, no, no. Oh, that was very close. That was very close, but we're still alive. It's not the end of the world yet. We're still alive. It's raining. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Okay. Oh, he has 100 health. He has 100 health. Where is he? Come here, you beetle. 
Come on. Oh, there's so many other beetles. Where are you? Come here. Die. 40 health. 29 health. Yes, he's dead. We've done it. We have done it. Stop. You goddamn everything. Scarabius has been defeated. Let's go. We done it. Oh, can you stop with this particle thing? Right, let's just kill this broke, shall we? Good. We done it. That wasn't all that bad. He would have been dead like five minutes ago if I wouldn't have messed up. Stop lagging, goddammy. Yeah, if I wouldn't have messed up, then he would be dead earlier. But well, uh, well, whatever. He is dead. He also dropped the blank glyph. Which I think I might actually even use soon. I don't know. Because we can use these glyphs to like enchant our um, items and just make them stronger. Which is pretty interesting. And let's go back home. Not that that's... Not now that Scarabius is dead. And, you know, ticked off the list. Good. Next up, as you can see, we have King Slime. So I guess we're going to be dealing with him probably next episode, yeah. Anyway, let's jump all this excess stuff and check out the treasure bag, since we are obviously in, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, yeah, expert when he drops the treasure bag. Right, the blank glyph, the enchanter. Could probably use this. Yeah, you can obviously enchant them. We can enchant these glyphs. But I don't think I want to yet, because then, yeah, when you, you enchant things, then you put them on your weapons. I don't think I have any weapons that I want to, you know, activate yet. So, yeah. Yeah, we can buy these like uh, efficiency frost or you know, just empty ones. So yeah, we can buy like frost glyphs or stuff, stuff like that. So yeah, you know which glyph you want to remove and right click this glyph. Interesting. But yeah, um, simply yeah, we can just buy glyphs that upgrade our weapons, which is very cool. But I don't think I don't think I want to upgrade any of my weapons yet. Or actually, to be honest, if I'm gonna be using the boomstick, might as well just upgrade the boomstick. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, this one is here yeah, for tools, this one is for weapons, yeah, 5% movement, speed, critical strike, conjures ice spike, that'll be to you, every spike beyond the fifth will be shot towards the curse, you're interesting. The enchanter, yeah, could, could not, can't have you played weapons, the enchanted weapon will gain stinging cold, alright, I guess we might buy this and add that onto our weapon. Critical strikes, conjure ice spikes, that'll be to you, and every spike beyond the fifth will be shot towards the curse, that's pretty good, so yeah, let's do it. Bam, we got it. We have boat, a frost glyph. It's pretty interesting. And we do actually have a, um, we do have actually have a spur glyph in here. Yeah, look, we already have a glyph in here. That's the, yeah, this blank glyph. I don't know when we got it, but we got it earlier. So, yeah. So, you pretty, yeah, we pretty much already have a glyph, which is pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah, I just use this one. I guess we can use that later on. But for now, we got this. How the hell do I apply it to a weapon? Do I just, yeah, how do I, oh. Oh, no, no, did I, oh, I applied, I applied it to this one. No, I don't want to do that. Wait, I think we can remove that. Give me a blank glyph. And I need to know how to work. Give me the blank glyph. Yeah, good. Okay, give me this. No, stop turning that on. Yeah, now I can go and use that. Nope. No, that's, I don't want a blank glyph. I want the clean glyph. Okay, let's just type in glyph, actually. Glyph. There we are. We have so many glyphs. Have poison, blood, scorch, and hide are invisible, which is interesting. Where is the yeah, null one? This one, that's what I want. And yeah. Right click to wipe the frost glyph of the silver broad, so that's what I want to do. Boom. Good, okay, now this one's... Actually, I could have kept it under. Whatever. This has been cleaned off, now let's actually go and get another frost one. And use it on the one that I want to use it on, this one, yeah. Every yeah, booty fill, and put it on there. Yeah, this right here, yeah, it even says what weapon's, what weapon's gonna get affected, I'm so dumb. Bam, whatever, we have done it. Boomstick now has stinging cold, amazing. That's not what I wanted to do. So we didn't cheat, I didn't, in the, you know, well, I guess we did cheat, but I didn't actually gain anything from that. All I did was just move this from here to there. Good. So now our boomstick has the stinging cold thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nice, I like that. Actually, probably should have buy one for my sword too, but whatever. These are some there now. Anyway, for now, for the most important part, the treasure bag. Let's open this and see what this has. A one, a two, a three, a bam! Three weapons, nice. Alright, so, first of all, we have a Hurtful Ornit Staff, so man's a beetle minion to fight for you, that's pretty nice, also one minute duration. So can I use this for my other one? God knows. So look, it's Lisha Beetle. Okay, he doesn't fly, which is pretty annoying. Can I, oh, I can, I, I can only have one. Or maybe I can have two, God knows. But he doesn't fly around, which is not the best, so I think I prefer my one that I have, but cool. Chittens, gorgeous, Erdis, and Beetle Scales, alright, we can make something with that, maybe some better armor, we're gonna check in a minute. And then the Hasty Scarab Charm. Increased minion damage by 8% and max number of minions by 1. Nice, nah, that's pretty good. I guess I could stop it for something, really. Uh, yeah, I need the War Hermes Boost. This is very useful. This helps us, but I guess I don't need it. The, yeah, that does help us quite a lot. And the Slippers, I don't need too much, but it does help us swim. Which swimming is pretty important. So, I don't know. Yeah, should I equip this Scarab Charm? I think I will. Because it I mean, minions deal just a tiny bit more damage, and uh, and I can have one more minion. So, 
I guess I might as, might, might as well. Actually, I'm gonna put our money away. Good. I think I'm gonna stop it for the th uh, yeah, swooping ability. Good. Smack that on. Good. Yeah, good. So now we have we can have more of these guys. Good. So we have a floating round around and that one. Good. We can have both of them. Be cool. I'm actually gonna keep that. That deals 10 damage. So yeah, the foreign will stuff deals less damage. But the guy flies around. This one deals more damage, but it doesn't fly around. That's why, to make up for it, we're gonna have both of them since we can. Alright, that's pretty cool. Anyway, now for the chitems. What the hell can I make with these? Armor? Oh, I kinda need to make armor, alright. Free defense, four and four. Right, it's eight. Uh, wait, this is two. Three is five. Five, six, seven, eight defense. That's just eight defense from that. And this is obviously four or eight. This is basically more. This is more. Actually, let's calculate how much. Eight and three is eleven. So it's gonna be 11 defense, it's a bit more, so I think I probably would make it, that's 12, that's 10, and that's 14. 12 at 10 makes 22, and 14 at 22 makes uh, 30, oh I just don't have enough. Whatever, we can also make the crook that, yeah, I can't make that yet. That I guess, I can make a chitin axe, a chitin hammer, a chitin pickaxe. And I can even make chitin spears, I don't want those though. But I can make a chitin pickaxe, that's yeah, 45% pickaxe power. This one currently is 43. So this is a bit better. The chicken pickaxe would be indeed a bit better since it has a higher pickaxe power. So maybe I could make that. What else do we have in here? The hammer. It has better hammer power. I guess I could make that. You know what? Let's just fight the Scarab. Yeah, let's just fight Scarabius again. We fought him once. Let's f yeah, let's kill him again. Let's fight him again. And to get more of these chitons. Because, uh, yeah, let's, let's get enough to make the armor and also enough to make a few other weapons. Good. Let's do it. Let's fight Scarabius again. Since we have time, let's do it. Alright, let's quickly go and get the idol. I know this is cheating to get the idol, but really, I don't care. Now give me that, and let's go and battle this bloke. Should be that hard since we already fought him once. Let's quickly go over here to the arena. Beautiful, the huge arena. Google respawn these dudes, I guess. I don't know if that restarts their time or whatever, but anyway. Now it's raining, it's cold, whatever. Let's just do it. Scrabius has been resummoned, and you are here to annoy me. Stop. We also have our uh, glyph on our gun now, so it should be pretty. Uh, should be a bit stronger. Yeah, there we are. Alright, let's just kill this bloke. Right, come on, Scarabius. Killed you once. I'll kill you again. Right, those are chasing me real bad. Okay, where is he? Alright, my, oh, my little beetle will deal with his beetles. That's pretty good. And my floaty things will... And my floaty one probably will deal with those guys. See, look, we dealt critical damage and I was thing floating around me. That should hopefully protect me from the damage. That's pretty cool. Oh, stop, you stupid beetles. And look, we took some damage and, like, my little ice thing disappeared. So, yeah. I think my ice thing that gets summoned help protects me. That's pretty cool. See, look, now we have uh, ice thing surrounding me. That's pretty nice. Okay, I like this. I'm so far happy with this glyph. At least it looks cool. I haven't seen it actually help me at all, but at least it looks cool. Well, yeah, it did, it, did, it did disappear when I took damage. Therefore, it probably did protect me from damage. But whatever. I'll just... I, I'm not sure if it did, though. But I didn't pay attention. And let's just deal... Yeah, let's just kill this dude. He's nearly dead already. We know what we're doing. Let's kill him. Take his... Uh, 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 what are they called? Scales, and then make armor from his scales and weapons. Very sadistic, I know, but well, what can you do? Scarabius is dead once again. Boom! That's pretty epic. All right, kill you off. Oh, it's more of these floating things. All right, stop, stop, stop. Let me get that. Wait, did he drop an our glyph? Oh, I think he might. No, he didn't. Whatever. Pretty cool to get ourselves out of there. Nice. So he's being killed again, and we got okay. Or the south that stuff again. That's pretty cool. But we have more chitons. Will that be enough to make all, everything that I want? We're gonna find out. If not, we're gonna go and fight him again, though. Now let's go and dump the excess stuff. I guess sell what I don't need. Yeah, do I want an angry one or this one? Do I want to deal three percent more damage or do I want to move? I think I have prefer movement. Right, Luciana, mamma mia, take this. We we see see see. Good. Right, that's probably offended a bunch of people. Quick stack that away, good, 43 gold, still have a spur blank glyph, good, now, now, do we have enough chitons, I don't know why I said now, twice, but I don't know, do we have enough chitons, let's find out, I want to make the armor, and a few of the axes and pickaxes, just so we can be a tiny bit stronger and prepared for the battle against King Slime next episode, alright, first of all, we're gonna make the armor, so chitin leggings, oh, you feel an evil presence watching you, you know what that means, I have Cthulhu, I'm not ready for the I have Cthulhu, so, boom, it's daytime, what a, what a surprise. No, I don't feel an evil presence watching me. So basically what that means is that, yeah, that meant that I have Cthulhu with spawn. I don't want to fight I have Cthulhu, so we made it data. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Whatever. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, let's quickly make the armor. So, shit and leggings, free defense, increase magic and summon damage. That's pretty cool. And increase movement speed, I like that. Boom. No, oh, misclicked. Boom, got that. Then, that's the phase. Got shit and chest plate. Four defense, increase critical strike chance by 5%. That's pretty good. Boom, make that. It's going to help our... Uh, sting and cold buff 
and the chain phase guard for defense increased max number of minions by one that's very good increased minion damage and knockback by 5% that's also very good boom we got the entire armor before we equip that we're gonna go and make the other stuff so spears I don't want but the pickaxe it does deal yeah this uh, very fast speed very weak knockback this has uh, very fast speed. Okay, I think the only thing that's better is just its pickaxe power. This is just seven melee damage and nine critical strike. This is just five damage and four critical strike chance. Okay, I don't care about the damage or the critical strike chance because we're not gonna be attacking with it. I care, I care about the pickaxe power. This and this does indeed have a higher pickaxe power. So, boom, married ourselves. At, okay, it's a weak one. Nope, it's definitely not gonna be a weak one. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's going to be a savage one. Beautiful. Now it deals just. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Right now, then we have the chitin hammer. Is it all okay? If they're okay, they're actually all ten. So we're gonna have enough to make. Yeah, we're gonna have enough to make all of them. Right, chitin hammer. Good. Yes, yeah, better hammer. Make that. Actually, do I want to make a hammer? I don't think I. Yeah, I don't think I will make a hammer because the hammer just you know I don't need. Yeah, I use the hammer when I build, and when I build I use cheats. So yeah, I'm not gonna make the hammer, but I will actually make the axe because actually. I didn't even use that, so we're not gonna make that. But you do use a pickaxe, so yeah, we made the pickaxe. Good, so now we basically got ourselves a better pickaxe. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's pretty big. That's pretty nice. Alright, good. I can put that away, put those away. Anyway, now for the armor. So, next, click go up there. So, let's quickly, yeah, zoom in as well. Beautiful. Good. Yeah, zoom in, open this door. So, now, let's quickly take off our dice. Good. So, now, from a whopping 15 defense, we will go to bam, bam, bam. Also, 15. Oh, yes, of course, because this one, yeah, this, yeah, set bonus increase minion damage by 7%. Of course, you have the same amount of defense. Because this one, yeah, this, yeah, because this has a set bonus. So the bonus for the set means that we have bonus free defense. And this one, the bonus is just a um, yeah, critical strike chance and minion damage. So we have the same amount of t defense, but our minions are stronger, so it's still pretty good. We did actually, you know, ultimately end up better. So that's good enough. I'm happy with that. I'm going to keep that. We put our die on, see, see how we look. Okay, we look pretty weird, but I think we do look better about the die. Yeah, we look better about the die. We look more like a wizard, which is pretty cool. Yeah, all right, we can take that off. All right, good. That's pretty nice. Let's put away all the excess stuff. And yeah, and that should be it for today's episode, actually. All right, equipment. Yeah, actually, tools. or the hell are tools? Uh, ranged, explosives, seminar, pets, man, captured ammunition. I don't have a tools chest. That's what I do. Uh, chest, or materials, equipment, potions, ranged, melee, summoner, ammunition, explosives, herbs, control of mounts, destruction items, tools, right there, right, good, tools, one, we can go and put away our pickaxe, and the armor we're gonna put into dyes and cloves, good, put that away, okay, no, not there, put it right here, good, next to our uh, wooden armor, good, and we can also put this die away, and then these, uh, yeah, chitons, we can go and smack them into materials, good, Beautiful. All right, that's that. So yeah, we got ourselves some better armor, and we also look pretty epic, I must say. And we've also got some, you know, we basically got a better weapon and that stuff. So yeah, I must say we've done some pretty good progress today. So in that case, ladies and gentlemen, since we have round this episode and done everything that I want to do, we're gonna go and we're gonna finish off this episode here. So yeah, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Where next episode we're gonna go and we're gonna battle. King Slime. Since Scarabius is dead, we're gonna go and, as I said, yeah, move on and fight King Slime and then the Eye of Cthulhu and then Eater of Worlds, make ourselves stronger, and then all the other bosses. Good. So, yeah, King Slime is gonna be up next. Let's quickly go and get the summoner for King Slime. So, in that case, the crown, the golden crown, the slime crown, even. Gotta play this game so much, I literally you know the summoner for every single normal boss. Jesus. Whatever that's, 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 that's you know, to remind ourselves next episode to battle the King Slime. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go and we're gonna fight another boss. We're gonna be fighting a big, huge slime. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye!